Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, we're going to get it in today, guys, and we are going to check out something that I've been needing here on the mountain for a while. The good folks at Anchor Solex reached out to me. It is a portable battery that is a little bit smaller than the other ones that I got. This one right here will be a whole lot more mobile for me, being able to put it on the four-wheeler, the boat, or to be able to throw it in the back of the truck if I need some on-demand power somewhere where I don't have. One of the big problems out here uh, living this off-grid life is power on demand. And I don't really have a lot of that unless the generator's running and stuff like that. But hopefully this right here will give me a mobile solution that I need when I'm going camping or RVing or road trips to be able to run my cameras, laptop, stuff like that, or lights or any other things that I got. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and we're going to do a little project today, guys. I have got to cut this barrel down right here a little bit lower to be able to get it up underneath the boat motor right here. And I need some back pressure and some water in there before I mess up my motor trying to get ready for spring because it is almost spring guys and I am ready to get out on the boat and do some fishing. And I believe that this right here is going to be a key component for this spring with me out on my boat. Being able to uh, keep things charged while I'm out on the boat and also I'll be able to bring my little trickle charger with me to be able to keep my batteries charged just in case I break down or something like that. Because we all know <laughs> last time I took it out I broke down. Alright let's get this thing unboxed, check it out. And I'll go ahead and get it hooked up to the battery charger and also I'm going to use it to run the grinder. That grinder right there definitely takes a little bit of wattage to run. So we're going to put this thing through the test today. Let's get after it. Alright, let's bring out the Anona. All right, what they sent me guys is the C1000 portable power station, 1056 watt hours and 1800 watts. It has a Life Pro 4 batteries, six times longer lifespan. It recharges to 100% in 58 minutes, guys. That is a game changer whenever you are out there camping. Double capacity with expansion battery. All right, let's get into it. I'm curious to see what this one looks like. Don't need this. Don't need this. All right, let's get it out. Ooh. I like the fact that this is a whole lot lighter, guys, than those big ones that I have. Very compact. I like that. All right, initial thoughts is it's got a car socket. Looks like it has two USBs and two USB-Cs. That one's a 100 watt, that's a 30 watt. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six regular plug-in. I see right here that it has a little phone, little Bluetooth thing, which means that I believe that it will work with the Anchor Solex app. So we'll get all that set up here too soon. This right here is where it plugs in to actually charge. And this right here is for the solar. And that right there is your little reset. And that right here is where you add your expansion batteries. Now, I did not get an expansion battery with this set yet, but they did send me a solar panel. We're going to go ahead and hook up the solar. It's still pretty early in the morning. The sun is starting to come up over the trees. It is a nice clear day. So hopefully we can get some good solar and really test this thing out. I would love to be able to bring the solar panel on the boat or camping with me and to be able to just recharge the battery right there to keep everything that I need on the go charging. All right, let's get the solar panel on box, check it out, and we'll get it all set up, and then we're going to get to work, guys. Very nice. All right, let's take a look at the little bag here, see what's in here. 
as I expected the little cables looks like a decent length there you go that's your two ends I like the fact that they got a little carrying case for there so you can keep it clean and organized all right let's take a better look at the panels I like the black and the blue there now in the back right here you got three little stands and they got little diagrams here on each one telling you how to adjust it for the full sun sun setting all of that all right right here on the end is where we're going to hook up very easy plug and play let's grab the c1000 and same thing guys just plug and play all right as you can see the display right here guys it's 85 percent charged already it tells you right now that I got 12 watts coming in on the solar panel. Like I said, the sun's not all the way up right now. That'll get better as we go. And it looks like we got 18.7 hours left on the battery currently right now with nothing hooked up on it. Now, you got the different little buttons right here. This right here will actually turn on this lower panel right here. All right, guys, I got the app downloaded. We're at 85%. It gives you the temperature of the batteries. We got 10 watts of DC coming in, 10 to 13 watts right now until the sun gets up. And right there, we can turn on the input if we wanted to charge it. Right here's your outputs. And if we wanted to turn on ultra fast charging, we can hit that button there, but we're using solar right now. Turn on the screen. And it turns on the screen right there, guys. Right now, with nothing plugged in, it's saying that we got 99.9 .9 hours <laughs> to go. But we're going to go ahead and test this thing out. The first thing we're going to do is hook the battery charger up and see how many watts that it'll take for that. I'm going to put this on 90 minutes. We're going to do 12 volt, 40 amp. I've got an extension cord hooked up here. Plug it in and see what we got. Hit the little button to turn it on. It is on. I heard the charger kick on. Let me pull up my app right here. You'll be able to see it a little bit better. Right here, the output is 200, about 220 watts. It is telling me that we got about three hours and 48 minutes that we can run this at 85%, which is not bad. That's plenty of time to charge that boat battery. All right, we're going to let that charge for a little while. I'm going to get set up with the grinder right here, pull some measurements and stuff. That way we can get this barrel cut. I'm really curious to see how this thing handles that DeWalt grinder. I think this can be a game changer for Come On Mountain. Come on. Right now with the battery charger, we're pulling about 180 watts right now. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the trigger on the grinder and see what it jumps up to. We jumped up to about a thousand watts to start with and then it leveled out at about 600 700 which i figured that grinder was going to take quite a bit so let's go ahead and cut the barrel and see uh how it handles it with uh, actually using it for a little bit of a period of a time <laughs> it guys 
that was a good little test this plastic right here is pretty thick and it bogged down the blade of the grinder a couple of times which makes that motor kick in a little bit harder which makes it draw a lot more wattage so let's go ahead and uh check the app and see what it's looking like look at that guys it only took it down to 79 percent with the battery charger running and grinding that whole barrel the temperature of the batteries only went up two two percent which is not bad we still got four hours and six minutes of power remaining with absolutely no more charge the sun is starting to peek up over the trees just a little bit so it'll be, come over and get on the solar panels here soon we're gonna go ahead and leave the charger charging here for a little while i don't know uh 60 70 80 about 80 minutes right here so we're gonna go ahead and let that run out and charge with just the solar panels hooked up nothing else running and we're gonna see what kind of uh battery depletion that we got here on the c1000 right now i'm happy happy with what i'm seeing so far guys the fact that it can handle the battery charger and that grinder all at the same time i feel good about how it's going to handle whenever i'm out on the boat trying to charge the battery and uh keep other things charged or if i'm on a camping trip i like the fact that it's compact lightweight another cool thing that i've seen guys check this out it also has a built-in light that'll be perfect for night fishing or out there camping look at that three different settings game changer game changer let's let that battery charge i'll bring y'all back the charger has quit charging let's take a look at the app and see where we're at we also got a lot more sun now so i'm curious to see how much wattage we're bringing in with these solar panels all right guys it only took us down to 66 percent and it looks like we're pulling about 160 watts and 162 watts right now which is really good for a 200 watt solar panel all right guys we got the boat fired up and running and this right here was a big help in that it allowed me to be able to cut that barrel it also allowed me to charge up the battery for the boat with the trickle charger that i had there I ended up charging it for like two and a half hours or something like that and it handled it amazingly now it's time to go over some of the specs here for the c1000 and there is a ton of them so i'm not going to try to remember them i'm going to read them off just like i do whenever i receive a product like this because i don't want to miss a thing this thing right here is a power powerhouse guys it is exactly what i was looking for i like the small size of it it's very light anybody can handle this right here and y'all know that i got that new e-bike as well guys i could put this in the basket of the e-bike take my charger with me and go on an adventure and be able to recharge my e-bike to make sure that i have enough power to get home let's go ahead and talk about some of the features one of the impressive things about the c1000 here is that it fully charges in less than an hour guys 58 minutes that is super, super fast. It has 11 ports at 156 watt hours. It's crazy. And I don't think I showed y'all this earlier, but this right here, this port right here, 2,400 watt surge, guys. That is insane for such a small little unit. You can also expand this to 2,112 watt hours right here by adding more batteries you can also charge it up with solar it can bring in 600 watts it charges it full in like 1.8 hours off the sun guys off the sun that is like 40 percent faster with power stations with the same capacity the batteries also have a 10-year lifespan and 3,000 charge cycles it also has a smart temperature control system built in which you've seen on the app where it kind of tells you exactly the temperature of all your batteries when you're charging whether it be out in the sun with solar or if you're using it inside your cabin one of the other features that i like a whole lot about this unit right here guys and the ankler solex in general is the app the app is very very simple to use it gives you all the power that you need to control this unit right here in the palm of your hand whether it be on bluetooth or wi-fi you could literally control this hundreds of miles away on wi-fi another big feature for this for me was the fact that you have all of these outlets 
here and multiple ways to charge this unit. And another thing that you don't see on a lot of these units, guys, even the bigger, more expensive one, which to me seems to be a no-brainer, the light. When you're out camping and doing all that other stuff like that, you need a light. And this one has three different settings and the off for brightness. This right here is a game changer. When you're out in the dark or in an emergency situation, like you're on the side of the road or something like that, and you need some battery power, having a light, guys, is a game changer. So my overall review, Anchor Solex C1000. It's amazing. Pound for pound, for such a small unit, it packs a big punch of power, guys. And it is a game changer for me out here off-grid. This right here will be my go-to battery solution for camping and also running around the prop, being able to maintain things here on my off-grid cabin. To be able to put this in the e-bike or the four-wheeler or throw it in the boat or the truck to be able to run my laptops and cameras and stuff like that when I'm on the go because my truck does not have a plug-in to be able to charge a lot of my stuff like my laptop. This right here is a game changer, lightweight, that packs a big, big punch, guys. You'll be able to find the link for this product in the description. Go check them out. They are always running deals. Absolutely amazing company. I will also pin it to the top of the comments. Once again, I would like to thank Anchor Solex for this amazing unit. It is going to be a game changer and definitely, definitely a handy tool for me to use here on the mountain and also when I'm on my outdoor adventures. I hope y'all have an absolutely amazing day, guys. I hope y'all did something nice for somebody today. I hope you took another step closer to your goals, but make sure that you always keep it real. Come on.